Hey YouTube, it's me, Leah currently. Okay, let's get started from uh, last night's highlights. Okay, so the first thing that caught my attention was when Chloe asked Stevie and uh, Janice if they should sell Jenna's under underwear that were scattered throughout the bedroom when they woke up. And then another thing is, how did Chloe Jasmine get Jenna's shirt that she wore around the house that day? Because that was funny. Jenna nominates Natasha, so Natasha is safe from Tuesday's eviction. During the talent show, um, Jara judged the best and worst performers. Gail's hosting the show. That's her talent. Tosh is singing one of Atomic Kitten's hits, which was actually a cover of a song from the 80s in America. Just putting that out there, Atomic Kitten, a lot of Atomic Kitten songs were not, like, original songs. James is doing a speech about being an entrepreneur. Chloe and Stevie are singing a popular 80s long love song, like, um, it's like, I've had the time of my life, and I give it all to you. And my favorite part was, it was just like Chantel in, uh, Big Brother, uh, I forget, I think it was Celebrity Big Brother 6 or something. It was, yeah, I think it was Celebrity Big Brother 5 or 6. Where uh, Chantal was holding the lyrics to the song and singing, I want it all. You know that song? Austin decided to model. Okay. Sherry was doing a one woman Hamlet while doing emotions, while giving emotions given by Big Brother. Janice talks about being a supermodel with interpretive dance. That's, yeah, she did interpretive dance. Bobby was giving his impressions of housemates. His Jenna was so fucking hilarious. It was so... F and the first he did, uh, Backdoor Team Mom. Oh, speaking about back Backdoor Team Mom's talent, oh my god. Her music video was fucked up. I, I watched it again. It's been a while since I saw that music video. And just like the first time, I did not want to finish it. I did not want to finish that video. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Swipe left. <laughs> okay. Scoop raps his hit single, which I didn't even know he fucking had. I seriously thought he was a producer slash featuring artist on Sierra and Missy Elliott songs. Uh, okay. Jared decided Scoop has most talented and Bobby has least talented. And um, Bobby gets punched with a talentless helmet thing. Like, a helmet with a sign that says talentless on top. Jarrah also nominate Bobby. Bobby is also safe from Tuesday's eviction. And um, one reason <laughs> was Backdoor Team Mom called uh, Bobby unbelievably satanic. Okay. And then they cut to another scene where, in the garden, where, after the talent show, where Tosh is, like, suspecting that Jera are in the, the secret room, and also suspects that they voted for most talented and talented. And then while the rest of the house is learning about the secret mission that they have to do, which is to try to get nominated by Jera just to get just to be uh, safe from safe from eviction. Jara, um, they uh, literally were getting massages in the luxury suite. And while the secret was showing, like, beforehand, like, they were showing the video and the footage that they've done, and Bobby just kept laughing and laughing and laughing. Okay, so all other... Now all the other housemates are trying to get themselves nominated by Jara to be immune from uh, Tuesday's eviction show. Clovey still don't know how to get themselves nominated by Jara. All they have to do is just steal Jenna's shit, apparently, and just wear Jenna's shit around the house. That's, like, the best suggestion I have. Stevie thinks it's hard to get nominated by Jara because they are above backstabbing and lying. Janice believes that Clovey are safe since the UK public opinion is positive on them. Which is kind of true. 
And then they have the moral dilemma cards like they usually do in every series. And this time the moral dilemma cards, they know that they have to say the shit just so that they can try to get nominated by Jera. And then back to her team mom that she's helped decrease teen pregnancy. And then uh, Jera's pussies are famous. Especially back to her team mom. She, like, has a sex toy made out of her vagina. And then Scoop doesn't want to try to get nominated by Jera because he doesn't want to be mean and backstabbing against Jera. Jera nominated James. He's also safe from eviction. And then uh, Jera's like, we have a really good strategy. It's, it won't backfire. Bitches, it's going to backfire. It's definitely going to backfire because they found out today, which will be on tomorrow's highlights, that the people that they fucking voted for eviction for to um, be up for eviction are safe. Okay, and then um, Bobby said, like, when Jarrah come back, Bobby will poke at Jarrah a few com- comments when they come back into the house just to, like, piss them off and shit. And then, um, I was watching bots and shit, and, like, there's nothing that big to comment about. But my favorite part, my favorite part is watching Gail clean and shit, and then, like, her boobs, her boob just flopping over and shit. It's like, Gail, can you get a better bra on? I know you don't care, but the girls need a little support, I think. Yeah, it's like, Gail does, has lost all care about anything, and it's, so, Gail. <laughs> okay, so that's been uh, last night's show. Yeah, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next show. See ya.